Welcome to another video by the Adrius PRC. We have our Traxxas TRX4 here, and I wanted to show you how to change the bearings in the back of your portal axles. I start by removing the wheel with 7 mil. The back portal uh, are a lot easier to remove than the front. The vehicle like this you will need a two mil and i'll see if no, i'm sure if she's gonna want to basically there's a lot of dirt in here you can say this vehicle has not been maintained uh, very well you'll have two screws right here and i'm not sure if she's gonna want to focus here but you'll notice there's one on top here and there's one on the bottom here and there are two mil basically remove the top one or the bottom one it's up to you there goes the first one and then you remove the other one and your portal axle will come off the vehicle Basically, you pull up and here you go. Here's your portal. The shaft stays in the vehicle. You can remove if you wanted to, but it stays in the vehicle. And again, it is keyed. Put the vehicle on the side. One of the first thing you will need to do is a 1.5 to remove your X. Remove this guy, pop this, and if there's any debris, just remove it. One of the things you will need that I forgot to grab you is a rag or a napkin or something, because you will have a little bit of grease. There we go. The camera grabs it a little bit better too. Now you will need a two mil. You have two screws here and six in the back. Now this vehicle here is at least two years old. It's been played in mud, snow, rain, places that uh, yeah and I did do the front portals and bearing wise were not that bad seriously it's surprising knowing the history of this vehicle here but it's due for a good freshen up bearing wise it's a great vehicle I love it, two speeds. Now if Axial could maybe design a set of portals for it, a lot of people will like it a lot better because a lot of people are asking for portals. One of the benefits of it, it uh, raises the uh, vehicle off the ground, gives you more clearance <coughs> for your pumpkins. Okay, we have the last one here. And basically what I do, I just grab the top and the case and I push on it. Making sure I didn't forget a screw here because it, it's tight. Wow. There we go. Knock on it a bit. There we go. And sometimes you'll need to be a little bit forceful with it. 
Yeah, the back one were a little bit worse than the front. We got a little bit of rust here. Now to remove this guy here, it's basically the same thing again. Give it a couple of knocks or wax or whatever. We got the first bearing out. And basically what I do, I clean, try to clean this as much as I can to remove any bad debris. Put this aside. You do have another bearing in here too. And use one of my uh, picks. Remove this guy. Now these guys might be a little bit more tricky sometimes. Because there is a little bit of rust. You might be a little bit more brutal with it. And don't worry if you damage the bearing itself, you need to change it. And what I do here, if I go in the middle, the shaft will be there in my way and my screwdriver gets to it. I go beside it. And slowly, she will come out. She's being a little bit of us stubborn here. Sometimes maintenance is a little bit more crucial. Okay, man. She's slowly coming. Basically, I'm trying to wedge both in between. She really doesn't want to come out. There we go. First one out. Now I got a feeling this guy will be a little bit more tricky. I'm just gonna see if it wants to move. It does not want to move at all. Now what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna grab my piece of scrap wood And I'm gonna use the main gear here to remove the bearing itself. Now I'm gonna grab my flat screwdriver. I'm gonna go just on the side here. Turn it, try to do on both sides. She really does not want to move. I think she's a little bit rusted there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I did to the back. Try 
try to free her up. Even this guy here. Seems kind of rusted in the hole. What I'm going to do here, instead of making guys wait, I'm going to remove it and come back. And I'm back. Basically what I did, I went and grabbed a socket. Uh, this is a 14 mil. And basically I grabbed, I made sure it's bigger than the gear or just barely on the sides. That way the axle pin here doesn't hit the sidewalls and basically put it on and just gave it a couple of taps until the bearing popped off and this just goes in the socket itself and make sure everything's fine yes it is just gonna clean the shaft this gear back in and grab our bearings here now for this guy here it's 613.5 that can go directly in the case and for the other one is the uh, 612.4 again can go in the case and we have our small one that's a Traxxas 5104A that goes in the case right here. And our last one, yeah, there it is, is a 1015.4. The 1015.4 goes on the other portal, portal axle gear. Wow and goes right here make sure this is fully inserted then you grab your other gear about between both of them and again i like to use marine grease in between them and you don't want too much just a bit to be able to cover the gears Make sure it's everywhere. There we go. Just gives a little bit of a lube. And the other thing too that the marine grease does, it repels water. I'll prevent a little bit of rust. Now let's build this case back together here. And let's rebuild it. Where's our two mil? Right here. Now I'm not gonna bore you guys watching me screw these screws back in. Now to put this back, it's the same way as you took it out. If you guys have any questions or comment, Post down below, I'll be gladly to answer you. And if you like this video, hit the, the like button. And if you want to be notified when the next time I upload a video, hit that uh, bell icon.
and you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you.